Hello again, dear my summer carers! In a previous video, we completed the first stage of the rally and finished second. Then, following the rules, we drove the car to the special parking, where it should stay until at least 10 am Sunday. At this time, the second stage of the rally sprint begins. It seems we need to spend the night in the town, and it can be done in various ways. The easiest way to kill time is saving several times in the toilet near the stall. Each save, the time jumps two hours ahead. At the same time, prepare water and food beforehand, because the stall is closed on Sundays. Another important thing – make a copy of your save game so that the files won't be deleted in case your player get into an accident and die. But it's much more interesting to roleplay the situation in other way and spend the night in the town. To do this, you can park Gifu or Rusko there. Both of them have sleepers. Both of these vehicles are able to carry a moped, so the main character can always return home if needed. Driving the moped, don't forget to put on a helmet. Another solution is to prepare a permanent sleeping place in the town. In game, you can sleep either on Satsuma's backseat or on a sofa, which can be found on a junkyard. You can spend the night outdoor, or for example, in an empty room next to the inspection shop. If you have completed the mission with the relocation of the drunk guy, you'll be able to throw your stuff to his place and at the same time use electricity and water. If it turns out that the front door is locked, save your game in the toilet near the stall and it will be open again. Chilling in the town is cool, but what if you have finished on Saturday with a good stage time but in a poor technical condition? I'll remind you that you can't take the car out of the parking lot, so you'll have to fix the consequences of jumping on the finish bumps right here. Satsuma's breakdowns can be divided in two types. First is the wear of car parts. If something broke and it's not too deep in the engine, it's worth trying to replace this part. To do this, you need to detach the broken part from the car and buy a working one from the guy who sells them in the parking lot. The parts purchased from this man are far from new and have about half of their total condition. Soon they'll break again. The second type of problems is related to suspension and especially tire punctures. This is the most common damage during the race. Usually such a problem doesn't allow you to drive through the stage quick enough and it is better to restart the race. However, you can crash right at the finish line with a good stage time. The punctured wheel can be only replaced with a spare one with the same rally tire, otherwise the car won't pass the inspection before the start. After one of the updates, to change wheels you need a car jack. If the suspension got bent, the digging bar, which can be found in the shed near our home, can patchily solve the problem. To bend the suspension again, you need to equip the digging bar by pressing the F button, then point it at the broken wheel and click right mouse button. Ideally, you need to grab some motor oil, coolant, a spare alternator belt, a spare battery, a digging bar, a spare wheel, a car jack and of course a toolbox with you. The time is now, it's already 10 in the morning and we can leave the parking lot. You have to reach the start point in one in-game hour. In this stage you need to drive in opposite direction, counterclockwise if you look at the map. With the helmet on, drive up to Fritere, pay another 500 markers and stop in the starting zone right after the first signs. On the count of three, start driving to cross the starting line on the move. You'll get a penalty minute if you cross it too early. On the first hill, you need to keep left. Left turn, grip loss at the end. After the straight, identical right turn, grip loss at the end again. Keep inside, be careful. Do not hurry, here comes a series of small fast turn and bumps, spectators outside. 
The first heel is smooth, on the second one possible jump. As soon as you see spectators again pedal to the metal, the road is easy enough until the right blind turn. This turn is fast, don't accelerate, don't brake, just steer. Next will be a fast right turn, keep inside and then keep right on a straight, ditch on the left. Center the car on the road, ditches on both sides. Now press the gas pedal until the turn to the dirt track, be careful. There is a long straight after that turn, small visible pits on both sides. Keep left, ditch on the right. Slow down, middle right turn downhill. Slow left turn, lake on the left, spectators outside. I have already mentioned that you won't be accused for manslaughter during the rally, but hitting them will ruin your car and your time. After a straight, quick left to a quick right, railway crossing in the end. After the sign, middle left turn. To the left, I could steer even more to the left. At the end of the fast section, long medium left turn. Usually here I'm steering to the limit. Got scared here. Got scared here for real. I could go faster again. Okay, handling's back. After spectators, slow right blind turn. Keep inside. Then a short straight and a middle right turn. Keep inside. Here accelerate to a fast right turn, then reduce the speed. Jump on the hill in a fast left turn after it. Slow down on the downhill, a combination of slow left and slow right turns ahead. Yeah, the speed, the speed is crucial. Maintain the right speed and you win the race. After the sign, 90 degrees left turn, spectators inside. A fast section begins until the railroad crossing. A bit more left. Center the car, ditches on both sides. Then accelerate when you see a house of the firewood guy. Great, now a bit more left. Better slow down here. Excellent. Traction recovered instantly. Step on the gas. Fast right turn uphill. Then slow down. Caution. Keep left. Two medium left turns. Spectators outside. Oh, roughly done. I swear, that was hard. Next goes the fast section. Accelerate until the first houses appear. Fast right, then medium right next to the house. To the right. Awesome. Here is the lope. 90 degrees left turn in the end of the street. Spectators outside. Then comes the bridge, don't accelerate up the hill, keep right. After it comes fast right turn, wheels almost lose grip. It's fine here, almost fine, almost fine, it's alright. Here, the new section which mostly consists of hills begins. The first hill is smooth. Yeah, step on the gas, fourth gear downhill. There are a lot of bumps here. In fact, the bumps feel even rougher in this direction. Now straight, a bit left, a bit left. After the slew, fast right turn. Depth, fast left turn uphill. Spectators outside. After the hill, grip loss, keep left. Ah, what a bump! 
Here begins yet another fast section. If you were doing fine before it, no need to risk right before the finish. Come on, Satsuma, you can do it! Come on, my dear, come on! Jump after the spectators. Carl loses traction. Let off the gas and straighten the steering. Calm down, calm down. Relax. Third gear. Keep a bit left after the hill. There will be fast right turn. Keep left. Ditch is on the right. Got to keep more left. More left, more left. After the yellow signs, medium left turn. Be careful. Make no mistake. Here we go. What the heck just happened, guys? What did just happen? What do we have here? Let's see. Let's see. They gave me something. I don't know. Miracle. Let me see. Oh, just look what kind of shit is going on. Stage results. No way. No way. You're the second losers. <laughs> if you also managed to win the rally, I congratulate you. These two videos about the rally sprint were a milestone for me and I shoot as much as 5 hours of gameplay for them. So if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel, like this video and click on the notification bell so you won't miss a lot of new stuff. See you soon, stay well!